Team, thank you. New details this morning about the shooting at YouTube's headquarters in California. Police have now identified the shooter as 39 year old Nassim Agdam. What's not clear right now is why she opened fire, sending hundreds of YouTube employees running for cover. Investigators say she shot three people before killing herself yesterday afternoon. And this morning, police are also revealing what she was doing in the hours before the chaos. CBS 4's Danielle Nottingham is live in San Bruno, California, with those details and more. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning. And at first, police believe this was a domestic incident, but we're learning from the family members of the female shooter that she was angry with YouTube, and her father says he actually warned authorities there could be trouble here. They heard seven to eight shots being fired. This will be from the U. Building. San Bruno police have identified this woman, 39 year old Nassim Agdam, as the person who opened fire, shooting three people before killing herself at YouTube's headquarters yesterday afternoon. Gunfire at YouTube. I've been calling 911. We heard like boom, boom, you know, and um, everybody kind of looked up and didn't know what it was. Agdam's father tells CBS News his daughter, an animal rights activist who frequently used YouTube for her cause, was having problems with the video sharing service. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube, and I'm not the only one. Agdam's father says she went missing for a few days, and when police found her near the company's headquarters, he warned them she might try to cause trouble there. Police say the shooting carried out with a 9 millimeter handgun took place inside a courtyard here at YouTube. Officers responded within two minutes. They identified one victim at the front door, main entrance of the building. Um, they checked on that person, and, and YouTube employees, to their credit, helped us by standing by with that person so the officers could immediately enter uh, to go search for the threat. Police say there is no evidence to suggest Agdam knew any of the victims or that any of them was specifically targeted. And a fourth victim who was hurt was not shot but suffered an ankle injury when trying to rush to safety. Live in San Bruno, California, Danielle Nottingham. Bianca, back to you.